I want to get into something with you today, but before I do, thank you. This week there has been such an avalanche of emotion for people being part of the at-home retreat and I've just started the journey with a whole new group of people who are now going to go through this program and experience it for the first time and I'm so grateful and I cannot wait to get people's feedback. It's still so fresh, it just, people have just signed up. But thank you, thank you to all of you who have signed up. Thank you to all of you who watched and, and participated in the community, even if you didn't sign up. You were amazing, the energy was incredible. One of the things I adore about this community is the level of positivity and the level of hope even from people who have been out of the dating game for a while, or people who are just going through divorce, or people who are dating later in life. Because I've always believed that experience doesn't have to make you bitter, and age doesn't have to make you old. See, you don't have to be young to be attractive, but you do have to be youthful, at least sometimes. You can't live your life disillusioned or bitter or frustrated. No one wants to be around that. What people want to be around is that youthful energy, someone who is excited about life at any age. Let me tell you the story of how I ended up slow dancing with an 83-year-old woman in the middle of my retreat program. I had a wonderful woman named Tanya who came to my retreat. At the end of the retreat, she said, this has changed my life, I'm bringing back my mother. She brings her mum to the next retreat. Her mum is 83 years old. She was French Moroccan, so fun and so beautiful. She loves the retreat. She participates in every part of it. She's dancing with everybody else. She's having a great time. She's so happy to be there. She then says to me at the end of the retreat, Matthew, I am coming back to another retreat. And I laughed, I said, I love that, come back. She said, I am. And when I come back, I'm going to have improved my English so that I can understand every word you say here. Now, I'm sitting here in front of this woman thinking, this is a woman who's 83 years old who set herself the goal of getting more fluent in the English language so that she can come back to another retreat and grow and develop herself. When she came back to the retreat on day three, we had a party. At the end of that party, I, along with a bunch of other people, jumped in the pool. <laughs> I get out, I'm soaking wet. She walks up to me and she says, Matthew, I have one wish. I said, what? She says, I wanna dance with you. I said, done. So I wrap a towel around me and I'm dripping onto the floor. I'm barefoot. And me and this woman, Latifa, we dance. We dance and it's beautiful. And it is one of my favorite moments ever on a retreat because I see this woman who is double the age of many of the women that complain to me that they're too old, and she's slow dancing with me and having fun and being youthful. Let me ask you a question. Is there an area of your life where you've stopped dancing? Because if you have, it's time to start again. In whatever small way you can get yourself to, it is time to dance again. And stop waiting for the perfect time to do it because there won't be a perfect time. You could have just got out of the pool and you're soaking wet. You could be barefoot in life right now. It doesn't mean it's a bad time to dance. And look, make it about baby steps. I know dating is intimidating. The whole thing is intimidating. You come out of a 10 year marriage and all of a sudden you're hit with Tinder and Bumble. Terms like breadcrumbing, ghosting, hearing that romance is dead, that people don't date anymore. All of these things are pretty terrifying when you add them all up and that's what gets people overwhelmed. But we can't get overwhelmed. And don't think that just because you're back in the dating game again, you have to do every part of it. That you have to engage in all of the things that everyone else seems to be engaging in. Here's what I want you to engage in, life. I want you to go outside, have conversations and see where they lead you. That's it, you can start there. I love you guys. I love that you're so positive. I love that you're hopeful. I love that no matter what age you are, whether you're married and you've been following me, whether you've been divorced for years and you're following me, whether you're 21 and you're following me, I appreciate all of you in this community and I cannot wait to see you again next Sunday. Have a wonderful week in the meantime. <laughs>